Hi, it's Kupokins, and today I'm going to show you how to properly generate LOD for Skyrim VR. Everything you'll need to know will be in the description. From the first link, download DinoDulod 3.0. And from the second link, download XLOD Gen. On your desktop, create a new folder, call it Tools, and extract both the files that we've just downloaded. Move them to the Tools folder, right-click and cut, and navigate to your Mod Organizer 2 folder. Right-click and paste, and click the drop-down menu in Mod Organizer 2. Click Edit, the plus sign, Add from File, and navigate to your Tools folder. XLOD Gen, XLOD Gen X64. In the description will be a command you can copy. We're going to paste it in Arguments, and check the Force Load Libraries box. Add another executable. Back to the Tools folder, Dino Dulod, Dino Dulod X64. For its argument, we're going to type hyphen TES5VR. Check the Force Load Libraries box, and add another executable. Textgen X64, and give it the same argument hyphen TES5 VR. Check the force load libraries box and continue installing the mods in the order that I do. Download the third version of scripting utility functions. Download the full extended version. The resources. The scripts. the plugin, and finally FPS stabilizer, which is required to see your LODs from far distances. Install these in the order that we've just downloaded. Select next and do not check any boxes. For the scripts, we're going to name it hyphen scripts. And for the plugin, we're going to name it hyphen plugin. The FPS stabilizer, we're going to select low with shadows, next, and no, I'm using open composite, even if you aren't. Install and enable all these mods. Now we are ready to build our LODs. In the drop down menu, click X LOD Gen and run. When it finishes opening, right click the left box, select all, make sure only terrain is selected, and generate. When it's finished and you see LOD generation complete, we can close this window. Create a new folder on our desktop, call it Mods, open our C drive, and drag the LOD Gen output folder to the Mods folder. Right click and cut. Navigate to your MO2 folder, and then paste. From here, click the wrench icon, and refresh. Uncheck the LOD Gen resources, do not skip this part and then check the XLOD Gen output. Now we can open up TextGen64 and click Run. When it opens, we're going to use the default settings and click Start. When it's finished, we're going to zip and exit Click the Install button, navigate to your MO2 folder, open the Tools folder, Dino Dulod, TextGen Output, and double click the zip file. Click OK, and then check it. Now we can open Dino Dulod 64 and click Run.
When it opens, we can right click inside the box and select all. Then hit medium. When it's finished, we'll save, zip, and exit. Click the install button. Go back to our Dino Dulod folder, Dino Dulod output, and double click the zip file. Click OK. And then check it. Congratulations, you're now done and are ready to play. Have fun!